guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and I am a first year first grade teacher over here at Putting Them First. Welcome if this is the first video that you've clicked into. Hello, I'm happy to have you here. Um, this will be my classroom setup series. Today is day 10. Oh my, we are in double digits. <laughs> day 10. And before I do anything else, of course, I just want to say thank you to you all for 6,000 subscribers. That is crazy. And I have just been so happy with how this process has gone. The fact that it can be so collaborative and that I can kind of get ideas from you guys has made all of the difference in the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for following along, subscribing, and for making it this far to day 10. A quick update before we get started. Today is Monday. Happy Monday. And on Thursday, it will be my last day in the classroom, just me working in the classroom. Um, after Thursday, I'm going on a short little camping trip with my boyfriend's family. And then after that, I will have um, some trainings for being a first year teacher and some district training and some school PD. And then our pre-planning period will start and then school will start on the 27th. And there will be some classroom setup days sprinkled in there. Um, but for the most part, I would love for my room to be set up by Thursday. So this is the big push in the end to get this thing done. And I am sitting here writing a list of every single thing that I can think of to do um, to the space before I'm not able to get in here so often. So um, I have my list. I have not yet unloaded the car. I just got here. I wanted to check in with you guys. So I'm going to unload the car and then I will let you know what we're working on today. The car is unloaded and now I'm just taking a moment to stand here in the library because I'm not over it. <laughs> I made the picture of my library, my phone background and just stared at it all weekend because I couldn't wait to get back to school to stare at it in person again. So <laughs> forgive me if I am a little bit distracted during the video staring at my library, but I have unloaded the car and there is really not much left to be unloaded or brought in. Um, but in here, there are some exciting supplies because some of you guys guessed it, I have decided to paint the doors with dry erase paint. And I actually also picked up, if I can find one, I will show you. Here it is. I picked up magnetic primer. So I will be able to paint the wood with magnetic primer to magnetize the surface and then cover that with dry erase paint to make it functional as a dry erase board. So I'm super excited. I'm not doing that today. If you can't tell by my outfit, <laughs> I am waiting on just official confirmation in writing via email that it is okay. Um, I'm sure that it is. All of the other teachers have done it in their rooms and I wouldn't have purchased it if I didn't feel confident that it would be okay, but I just want to have it in writing before I do anything that is irreversible to those doors. So this is going to wait maybe until tomorrow if I get an email. But for today, um, I'm actually a little confused now what to do because one of my biggest goals for today was to laminate a bunch of stuff. And everything has been pulled out of the teacher's lounge and the laminator is not plugged in or not working or something is just not right. I asked someone in the main office and they said I might have to wait until Wednesday. So. For today, what we're going to do, work on those bulletin boards, the little small ones. I'm going to cut a bunch of stuff because I do have my paper cutter. So even though I can't laminate, I could at least cut some stuff. And then there are a few little odds and ends projects that I could probably work on. Um, cleaning out everything from the cabinets. I think I'm going to pull an early adventures. <laughs> hey, if you're watching this, I doubt she would. But anyways, I'm going to pull everything out of the cupboards and put it on a table. Just so probably that little table that's not staying in the room just so I can see it and then I will have to address it. And I will have to sort through it and I will have to put it somewhere and organize it. So I think today we're going to start with the bulletin boards and then it might be a quick day. We'll see if I can get more done at home as far as like printing or cutting. I have a small laminator so I could laminate some things. If I can do more at home, I'll leave and head home so I can still be productive. I don't want to just be sitting here. So I'm going to get started with what I can do and then we'll see how long we're here. Stinking cow. 
I know it is hot outside, but this might be the warmest day in my room yet. And do you guys see this? Holy cow, we did have a very hot weekend. So I'm sure that the air is just a little bit stifled in here and sitting up in that little perch doesn't help either. There is no airflow, but I am almost finished. I just have the little corner of that one small board and I think I need to just stand here in front of the fan because holy cow. Be right back guys. turn the fan off for volume purposes but y'all I just cannot but it is finished I hung up a little I'll walk with you guys a little rainbow banner in the window and then I did the board on this side and of course the board on that side so that is done and I'm a little wary about like putting anything on those boards because it is so visible from the hallway so I wouldn't want to put any like student information or anything on there so I'm a little confused but I know before the teacher just had like a happy like welcome to first grade display. So maybe that would be a fun thing to do. But for now, all the boards are bare, but they're ready. Um, and once I kind of figure out exactly what I want to do with each of them, which I already pretty much know, I'm going to make the letters at home with my Cricut so that I don't have to cut bulletin board letters. And then I can go ahead and get to organizing the boards. Um, for now, I'm just going to cut some things out with my little paper slicer. I have the alphabet headers for the word wall that's gonna go on those upper cabinets. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out. I cannot laminate them yet, but I can cut, laminate when I get home, cut them again. So I'm gonna cut those all out and then pull things out of the cabinets. Right now it's about one o'clock, so we have around two hours or so left. We'll see how much more we can get done today. Oh my goodness, as that time lapse went on, I think my hair got sweatier and sweatier. But anyways, my word wall um, header, like letters I'll use to space out the words on the wall are done. This is what they look like. These are from TPT from a store called Creative Teaching. It's C-R-E-A-T-I-B space teaching. If you search light rainbow um, word wall these will probably come up i liked these because they are not circles and i don't have a circle punch so it would be very tedious for me to cut out all of the letters in a circle and then laminate them and then cut out all of the laminated circles because i just don't have time for that and i also like the way that these look a little bit better that's just personal preference so i'm going to use these but i want them to be laminated so that they last for a couple of years at least so these i will laminate at home since i can kind of fit these through my little scotch laminator um, with like four or five per sheet that's no problem so i'll laminate these at home cut them again and bring them back so i guess i need to take this guy home i also now have my number line oh these were extra abc i don't know why i have two of those but Oops. Um, this is my number line. This is from Maria Gavin on TPT. It's the white series. It's the same series as my library labels. Um, my library labels, by the way, I have not yet put onto the bins or onto the books themselves. Um, the books will have matching clip art for the labels so that children will know how to put the books back. But that is another project that will happen at home and then come to be stuck onto things at school. Right now, I'm just trying to get everything done that I have to be in the room to do. So for now, um, it's pretty hot and I can cut these at home. So I'm gonna wait on this and I'm actually gonna start pulling things out of all of the cabinets, wiping things down if I need to and organizing slash sorting through what's left here.
you guys. <laughs> You're not going to believe what I found. I know some of you told me I would mean more, but I don't even know how that's possible. And I just found a bunch of Unifix cubes. I swear, every time I open a cabinet in this room, I find Unifix cubes. <laughs> like, holy cow. But these are all in little um, sets for kids to use at their desk. So I really like those. I'm going to leave them how they are. I might move them over by our math manipulative so that they are more, um, I don't even know, logically positioned <laughs> by the other things that they would belong with. But I love that those are there. So that's awesome. That what a good surprise. And so far, really, these cabinets are pretty organized and not super junky. Um, this one is like paper. So I left that alone. Up top is some curriculum books. There are some other curriculum books in the closet, but down here, this one is pretty much empty now. It just had um, like a bunch of random stuff in it, but I kind of made this like the craft area now. So there's some yarn, some craft sticks, some googly eyes, some like paint that we won't use unless we're doing a craft. That's all gonna be down here. So these are like paper and art supplies. This one over here that I've opened really just had a bunch of nothing and some Unifix cubes, so that's there. And then here is like cleaning supplies and extra um, like Ziploc bags and stuff, which would make sense, it's under the sink. And then we will go down there. I think it's just like paint and stuff, but let's keep working. Hey guys, long time no talk, but today was just kind of an odds and ends day and I didn't end up getting to do the things that I really want to do, which are laminating, getting this wall ready, getting the word wall, the wow work, wow, wow work wall ready. Those things require lamination, which I won't be able to do until Wednesday, but that means tomorrow on Tuesday, I'll be able to paint these, hopefully. And then on Wednesday, the laminator will be working. And now on Thursday, I can get to all the things that I hadn't gotten to yet. And Thursday will be a much longer day in the classroom. But let me show you before I head out the things that I was able to work on today. You guys saw a little snippet of me working um, at the little crate seat table. And I'm excited to show you what it is. Let me flip you around. Ignore the big pile of trash that's going to go in my car and then get thrown away at home. But look how cute these little rainbow pennants are across the window. So some of you guys suggested tassel banners and I love those, but the other first grade teacher has them and I don't want to copy her. So I thought that I would try these. I just got these little triangles from Target Dollar Spot last year for a dollar for a pack. I think I used four packs for this, no, two packs. And I just used some white twine and taped them with just regular tape up on the twine. Hopefully they stay, we'll see tomorrow, but I love how that turned out. Other than the little rainbow banner in the windows, I did manage to go through all of the cabinets, so I'm feeling a lot better about that. Pulled out a bunch of old stuff that is just going to get tossed, um, just like random odds and ends, markers that are dried out, crayons that are like down to little nubs. Um, it's just like really some trash, so that's all going to go. I'm going to take um, some of like the cleaner trash, I guess you would say, like the bins in my car so I can put them in the dumpster at home. I'm not really sure if there's a dumpster at school. I haven't asked about it yet, which is why I've been hoarding trash in my room, but I'm going to take the things that I can and chuck them tonight, and then tomorrow will be hopefully a painting day. So that is exciting, um, but for now, I am heading out. Oh, I want to show you one more thing. All right, someone on my Instagram actually recommended using the calendar pocket chart from the Target Dollar Spot to hold the foundation's small letter cards. Wait a minute, did I forget to move them? I did, one second. Okay, that is what they are supposed to look like. And then we will be able to use them to make words across the top strip where you would put the month strip out. So that was a perfect little solution. And then of course I was able to do these bulletin boards here. The one over there, 
And then I just did this small little piece of cork board because I am crazy. But that is how the front of the room is looking. I tried to stick my googly eyes on the TV and I couldn't figure out a way to do it. The Velcro dot wasn't sticking. So let me know if you guys have any ideas. But yeah, that is what we're working with. I am going to load up my car with bins and boxes to be chucked when I get home. And I think I'm going to head out for the day. But day 10 was productive and the space feels a lot more organized and a lot neater. So that's good. I was able to put a lot of curriculum away in the closet instead of having it just on the shelf by the window. So I'm feeling much better. But for today, I think that's a wrap. This will definitely be a multi-day video. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming with me today. See you then. Hi y'all, happy Tuesday. I am back. I'm currently sitting in the parking lot outside my apartment, but I just wanted to say good morning and welcome you to day 11 of classroom setup. I am a bit more prepared today. I'm still hoping that somehow the laminator is working um, because I realized that I can't do all the painting in one day. Um, I have to prime it and let it dry and then paint it the next day and let that dry but I still have tomorrow and the next day, so I'll have plenty of time. But anyways, today I have my computer so I can like digitally design some of the bulletin boards because I know the concepts I want on each of them, but I don't know what I want them to look like or the font. So I came home last night to print bulletin board letters with my Cricut and cut them and I just thought, well, what even do I want? So I'm bringing my computer. I also have my word wall letters. So we can do the word wall today, get the letters up there. I have some other stuff. Oh, I have some sticky clips and all of the standards for first grade so I can kind of measure out my objectives board and see how I want to split that. Um, but other than that, I am wearing my painting clothes because I am hoping that today is the day to prime. I will know for certain once I get to school. Um, right now it is 1040, so we're doing okay with time. Tomorrow actually is my last morning of VIP Kid, and I love it, y'all. If you have any questions, you can ask me everything you want about VIP Kid, but waking up before 4 a.m. is a struggle to say the least. But anyways, tomorrow is my last morning with VIP Kid, and then Thursday will be my last day in the classroom. So anyways, not going to talk any much longer because my coffee is waiting for me. I ordered it. I'm going to go pick that up, and then I will see you guys at the best classroom ever. Alrighty, we are here, we are back, and I am smiling so dang big because I left the classroom pretty organized and clean yesterday, and just coming in and not seeing a ton of things on that wall counter is making me very happy. It looks so much more orderly in here, so that is awesome. And I'm also smiling super big because the laminator is working. So I turned it on. Um, it takes about 15 or 20 minutes to heat up. So right now I just pop back to my room to unload the car and I noticed only one of my rainbow banners. Can't see because of the light, but anyways, only one of them fell. So I'm gonna try to retape the little part that fell down and then I'm going to get my number line and start taping it together um, so that I can put it through the laminator. I'll probably put it through in like four pieces. If I just did one piece, it would be like an obnoxiously long sheet of lamination for one thing that's only this thick. So I'll probably put it into like four pieces. Um, so I can put my number line through. I won't put it up just yet because it's going to go across the top of the math wall over here. And sadly, the person that I was waiting for at the top of the chain of command for approval for the wall is not in today. So I sent an email and hopefully that'll come back quickly with the okay. So I'm going to start with the lamination of the number line and then I'll move on to the word wall, like cleaning this um, cabinet door area and spacing and setting up the word wall. Um, and then hopefully by then I'll have the okay or the go ahead and I can prime the doors before I leave today. But anywho, um, I'm gonna get my number line set up. Well, I put it through the laminator and I'm trying to just not freak out about this, but it didn't close really all the way and it's a little wrinkled. Um, I have some packing tape, just some clear packing tape that I think I'll be able to just wrap around it to make it look a little bit neater, but you know, it's a new laminator to me. So every laminator has its quirks. Wasn't quite hot yet. I waited as long as I was told to, but I don't think it was quite ready. But anyways, 
it's laminated. I'm going to cut it out now and we'll see how long um, it is across the top. It might have to go on this wall or it might have to be like a corner thing. We'll see, but I'm going to get started with cutting. Well, you guys, here is all of the lamination that was on numbers 1 through 27. And here are numbers 1 through 27 attached together with cardstock and no longer laminated. So I don't know if the laminator just wasn't hot enough. Um, maybe I'll just pull all of the lamination off and just not even worry about laminating them. To be honest, it's just really hard in your first year because it's embarrassing to ask to do things the first time. Um, I don't know why it feels that way, but sometimes you just feel a little embarrassed to not know the lay of the land and not really know how to operate or where to find things. So I kind of <laughs> had to work up my courage a little bit to even just find the laminator in the first place. So I definitely don't wanna go back and say, oh, it didn't work, what can I do differently? Did I not follow your directions? I just don't wanna ask again <laughs> because it's hard enough the first time. So maybe another day, but for now, I'm just gonna peel all the lamination off and then um, maybe just use it as is just cardstock because I'm a little too embarrassed to ask again for now. But you know what, maybe tomorrow I will be a little bit more brave and a little more confident and just ask again. It could never hurt. But anyways, it's gonna peel the lamination off for now because clearly it did not work. So I don't wanna leave it on the other numbers for too long. Let me do that. Okay, it is all out of the lamination, and fortunately it did not ruin the number line at all. The number line is perfectly intact. It's just not laminated, which is just a minor setback. We are not gonna cry over spilled milk. That's how quickly I can get over things. So I'm over it. <laughs> it's all out of the lamination set on the table. Um, actually, it's on the carpet, I lied. It's down there just in pieces until I can decide if I want to re-laminate it or just put it up as is. I kind of laid it across the floor just to see, and it will definitely wrap the corner right here. It won't all fit above the math wall on that one wall. Um, and I want it to be in a consecutive line. I don't want to like break it and go one through 50 and then like 51 through 100 underneath it. I want it to all be in a line. So we'll see about that. But for now, um, all I can do are the things I can do. And I cannot paint until I get an email. So I'm waiting on that. But I did bring some trash bags for this <laughs> table of trash. So I'm going to put all this stuff in trash bags and start using some Goo Gone on the um, yucky spots on these doors and just Lysol, like wiping them down to make sure that they're clean. And then I can get to work with spacing um, and applying the letters for my word wall. So let's do the trash and then word wall time. it is time to make this set of cabinets into a word wall. I have my letter headers. They are over here. Let me show you guys actually. Um, I told you guys about these yesterday. They are from Creative Teaching. I will link them in the video description, but they are all laid out right here. And I'm going to do um, like A, B, C, D going this way across the top row. I'll do four rows across the six cabinets for like 24, but X, Y, and Z will just be like boom, boom, boom right with each other because they don't need the same amount of space there is an inordinate amount of words that starts with X, Y, and Z. So we will just do them that way, but for now we gotta prep the surface. Let's do some goo gonning. not to be loud because there are so many people here today but I got an email and we can paint oh my gosh I'm so excited I think I literally checked my phone for that email maybe 18 times while I was cleaning the cabinets but the cabinets are clean and the wall is getting painted oh my gosh I'm so excited I'm sorry I cannot dance but that's fine <laughs> now you guys know oh my goodness and when I asked I asked about the full wall and now I'm thinking, do I paint 
all six of them because originally I was thinking just the four inside and then the out two I would cover with paper, white paper, just to make it seem more um, like uniform, like it's all white. And then, oh my gosh, now I'm thinking, do I paint the whole thing? Wow, you guys, I am so excited and I'm a little bit nervous because I have no idea how to use this, but that's okay. I'm gonna do my best. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm thinking we stop and get the paint up there so it has enough time to dry. We can move on to this after the paint is on there. Oh my gosh, now it's really happening. <laughs> oh, what have I gotten myself into? Oh, buddy. Okay, it's painting time. Hmm. Alrighty, you guys, we have encountered our first problem. I don't know if you can tell, but the top of the paint is super liquidy, and then like down here, there's like a bunch of like gunk. And it's a magnetic primer, so I'm sure that's like the particles that make it magnetic. But I shook it a lot, and I don't know how to incorporate that into the paint. So I'm going to do some Google research, and we'll see. Okay, today has just been one fail after the other. I feel like I am running full speed in place. But that is part of it, I guess. The paint has separated according to the Google. It is separated because there are lead particles in the paint that make it magnetic and it is impossible to stir it enough to reincorporate the lead particles into the paint is what I have read. So I am going to have to take this can of primer back to Home Depot to see if they can put it in their like machine to shake it, which I guess I should have done at the store, but I bought it at the paint counter and no one offered to shake it. So I thought maybe it didn't have to be. Um, I guess that's what you get when you make assumptions. So this can has to go back to Home Depot to be shaken and that's just the way of the world. Right now, I think it's like 1.40, so I only have about an hour left and I won't be able to leave, shake it, come back and prime it. So I guess I'll just pop the lid back on, do the word wall, and painting will have to wait until tomorrow. So I guess that will be tomorrow's big project. We'll be priming, it'll dry, and then on Thursday we can paint on top of it. So it's okay, I still have two days left. I'll still have a day to prime and a day to paint. Um, I'm just feeling a little bit defeated because today has just been one start project, run into a wall, start another project, run into a wall, but that's okay. That's part of it. The whole setup debacle. I'm sure this is not just me. So this paint has to go back. I will do that. And the good news is the Home Depot is by the Chick-fil-A. So I guess I'll have to go Chick-fil-A while I'm there and I'll grab another paint pan because I wanted another one anyways. So I'm going to pop the lid back on that painting. Sadly, after my happy dancing, it's going on hold. I'm gonna get the word wall up at least because I can do that while I'm here. And then I will head out to go to Home Depot. I am moving on to the word wall, but I just realized that in that previous video, I said that there were lead particles in the paint. Please do not come for me. <laughs> it does not have lead in it. It is not lead paint. I'm just a goofball. It has iron, pulverized iron. It is definitely safe to be used in classrooms. It does not have lead, I promise. Okay, <laughs> moving on. I'm going to do something productive. I swear I'm going to get one project done before I get kicked out of this place today, and it's going to be the word wall. So if all we do is today, all we do today is the word wall, then so be it. It's a word wall day. So I'm going to do the word wall now. one project done yay <laughs> so that was pretty quick I just measured the door with the tape measure divided that in four made sure that each letter had its own space and then down there is um, X Y Z all together in a row because really Y will be the only one that we have words for it but this will be the word wall I actually forgot my white cardstock here in the classroom it's in that little crate um, I'm gonna make white letters to label this word wall because the cabinets are brown so I can use white and you guys know I like to use white as much as possible to minimize the rainbow craziness but they also made an announcement while I was doing the word wall that we need to be out of the building by three today especially today I'm not sure what they're doing but we need to be out by three so I'm going to load all of that trash that I said I was gonna take home into my car and then um, other than that, I think we might be just heading out, but I'm gonna load that all up. It's around 2.20 now, and then I'm gonna head over 
to Home Depot to shake that paint. And then I'll just have to go to Chick-fil-A next door to Home Depot have some big exciting news if you've made it this far in the day of flops then thank you for loving me through it but i have some really really exciting news so now that this is for sure going to be my math wall space i've been talking about how i want this to be a floor space for work and if we're gonna have a floor space i want there to be a rug and i was very fortunately gifted the money to purchase a new rug for my room by a family member. Not a new rug like this one that has an alphabet from an educational supply store, just a solid area rug to put in the space. And there are other classrooms in the building with a solid color blue rugs. So I know that, that will be fine. I am looking at getting matching rugs for this space, a nine by 12, and for this space, that's why the tape measure is laying there, a seven by 10. So I am super excited now that I've measured them. I think I'm going to pull the trigger, so to speak, and order those rugs today. I know some of you guys are gonna be very much relieved because some of you have really been pointing out the rug in the front of the room. And as fortunate as I am to have that rug in the room and the fact that it has the letters on it, they don't really serve a purpose because they aren't spaced in any which way that I could seat the kids. So I'm going to go for a solid area rug with some sit spots. But anyways, that is all for today. I'm gonna load up my car and head out. Thank you guys so much for making it through day 11. If you make it to day 12, we are painting. So goodbye friends.